I really like just about everything on this Tiger Claw from Cold Steel except for one thing. What's going on, guys? Carter here coming in from Edged Mindset. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We're going to be talking about this Tiger Claw from Cold Steel. This is a folding karambit, uh, but this folding karambit is a little bit different than most of the ones out there for a couple of reasons. First is the size. This is a very large karambit knife. It has a three and a half inch blade. Overall length is nine and a quarter. Despite its kind of impressive and imposing size, however, it's pretty dang light, 5.1 ounces. That's not too bad for a knife this big. It has S35 VN steel. Let's get a look at that logo right there. Made in Taiwan, satin finish, belt satin finish. It has a thumb disc opener with the wave feature. We'll do a little pseudo demonstration here. Imagine, imagine this is pants and it's caught on these pants. You pull this out, boom, it's gonna auto deploy for you. Most people are familiar with that feature, but if you're not, it's pretty dang cool. Um, I believe Ernest Emerson was the first one to kind of discover this and implement this. This is a variation of that wave feature from Emerson Knives. Um, one interesting thing about this blade, despite it being larger than most folding karambits, is that it has a chisel ground secondary bevel. You can see that really wide secondary bevel right there. But on this other size, side, not size, on this other side, there is nothing. Uh, that makes it very slicey and effective, and it also makes it a little easier to sharpen because you only have to manage one real bevel on this side and then just kind of knock the burr off on this side. Some people would disagree, uh, but I think it's a little bit easier to manage for novice sharpeners. You don't have to keep them even. You just kind of sharpen one side till you get a bevel or you get a burr, and then you knock it off and you're good to go. This also has the triad lock, which is, in my opinion, the strongest folding lock that's ever been invented, especially a folding lock that doesn't require any additional insert or pin or anything like that, just a self-contained lock. The triad lock is the strongest lock, in my opinion. Once again, talking about size, you can see how you get a full grip in between the finger choil and the ring. Most folding karambits, and really most any karambits in general, you really have to get your pinky in that ring in order to get a full grip on the handle. This one, you actually choke back like this, so it gives you lots of extra reach. Now, one of the cool things about this is how lightweight it is. As you saw, they do this by making it so thin, which is what I don't love about this knife. On one hand, I like how carryable it is. It really disappears in your pocket, even though it's large. Uh, but it feels kind of awkward. It feels like I'm gripping a credit card or something. I am getting used to it. It's very similar to the Black Talon, right? Similar concept. In fact, I compared the widths and they are the exact same. Uh, so if you like that knife, if that knife feels comfortable, then you are going to like this one as well. There's also no liners, no steel liners, no aluminum liners, anything like that going on in here. It is just G10, which by the way has a good grip to it, standard cold steel G10, uh, mounted right to the back spring right there. Um, and then this aluminum ring that comes through here, which is nice because this gives you plenty of sturdiness on this ring. It's not going to deform on you. This is not G10. This is anodized aluminum. It is tip down carry, left hand or right hand. You can switch this pocket clip right here. And this pocket clip works on this side, so you don't have to use an additional pocket clip like Cold Steel kind of sometimes has to do based on the design of their knife. So what is the overall intended purpose of this knife? Well, primarily it's a defensive knife. As you can see with this quick deploy wave feature right here and this vicious curved hawkbill blade. This thing is just absolutely devastating if, if you had to use it in a defensive capacity, but it's also just a good general utilitarian blade. You can slice through things very easily. This tip is nice and thick and strong. You've got this recurve to capture material right in the middle so it doesn't slip off. And in fact, fun fact for you, the original purpose of a karambit was a field use knife for farming. Uh, they were fixed blades, not folders, but the reason you had this ring here, other than just general better grip and being able to stay in your hand better, is you'd be doing cutting, 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 whatever you're doing, and if you needed full use of your hands, you would just let it drop, hang by your pinky, do everything you need to do with your hands, fold up boxes, 
put vegetables away, whatever it is you need to do, and then you'd flip it back up and you've got a knife again. So you didn't have to put it down, you didn't have to drop it, lose it, or risk it getting stolen. Now, like a lot of defensive weapons, they usually start as farmer tools, cheap farmer tools that are then repurposed as defensive weapons. So that creates an interesting dynamic, right? On one hand, you have a very devastating self-defense weapon. However, on the other hand, you have a knife whose origins are 100% rooted in utility. So this can work as both. Overall, I really like this knife. I wish the grips were a little bit thicker. I could probably get some custom G10 scales made. Might be a little bit goofy how these screws would kind of uh, be sunken in if you were to do that. Um, but I, maybe I'll get used to it and really start to like it. Um, it doesn't pose any issues. It just feels kind of awkward with it being so thin. All right, guys, comment down below. What do you think of this cold steel tiger claw folding karambit?